What's up, friends? Fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and currently on my little mini hiatus, but I still wanted to throw something up on YouTube, and it is another month, so therefore I need to cover another binder uh, just to show off what I got in my collections. Uh, today we're doing Hall of Fame binder. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Hall of Fame binder uh, number four, so yeah, I'm just gonna quit rambling here, and we'll roll the intro, and we'll get to looking at these Hall of Famers. First Hall of Famer in this binder is a player that was actually born in the Netherlands. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Zeist, Netherlands, uh, this player was born in 1951. Uh, made his Major League debut in 1970, so he would have been, what, 19 years old. Uh, so, very early uh, Major League debut there. Um, he was inducted in 2011, and that is Mr. Burt Blylevin. Uh, long time pitcher. As you can see, a lot of these uh, Hall of Famers we're getting into had a lot of cards during the, uh, the so called Junk Wax era. Some of these players I do have a lot of cards for. Burt Blylevin, not so much. Um, but when we get to certain players like Cal Ripken Jr. and Greg Maddox and Chipper Jones, I got a lot of their cards. So, uh, yeah, let me quit talking about other players. Talk about Mr. Burt Blylevin. There's a 1982 Don Russ. A 1985 Donruss and a 87 Donruss, and then all the way up to a 2020 Donruss, right next to the uh, 86 design Donruss, which kind of mirrors uh, the 86 Donruss. This is the Donruss Highlights, which is a separate set. Uh, this is 85 Fleer, and then we got the limited edition 85 Fleer uh, Burt Blylevin, and then here you got this is 93 Pinnacle, I believe. And then next to it, we have a 91 score. So I don't know when Burt Blylevin's last year was, but he does have a 93 card. So at least 20 something years he pitched in the league. Next, moving into some top stuff here is 83 tops. Burt Blylevin, it's weird because like this one, he's got the pitcher, he's got a beard and all that. And in the little circle pitcher down here, he's clean shaven. Uh, here we got the 88 tops, and then the 89 tops, and then the 90 tops, and the 91 tops, and then the sideways 92 tops. Pretty cool card there. Uh, the 84 design from 2019 tops, and then this one is, I think it's an iconic card reprint. Yeah, iconic card reprint. And then down here from uh, 2020 Heritage, we got a then and now insert with him and Garrett Cole. And the last page is only has one card on it, and that is the 1990 Upper Deck. Four times exposure, super technology advanced for 1990. <laughs> Burt Blylevin. Okay, next up we have a player that was born in 1949, made their debut in 1972. Uh, they were elected to the Hall of Fame in 1995. Um, from Dayton, Ohio. This is a player that's popular among a lot of us collectors. And that is Mr. Mike Schmidt. Hopefully this focus is good. Not I'll fix it. Looks like it's a bit out of focus. Starting off, we got a 2014 Classics October Heroes insert. Mike Schmidt. And then we got a 90 Donruss Mike Schmidt. Followed by another 90 Donruss Mike Schmidt. You might ask me, why do I have two of these? Uh, well, technically they're not parallels. But they are variations of some sorts and it has nothing to do with the front of the card but the back of the card uh many of you may have may know about this but some of you might not it's kind of hard to see on this one because uh, i'm not zoomed in enough but some cards have a dot after where it says leaf incorporated like this one has a dot this one does not have a dot i guess don Russ did multiple runs on their sets and this is from like 87 Donruss, I believe, all the way up to 92 Donruss, um, where some some cards have a dot, some cards don't have a dot. It's not really considered a true parallel or very or variation, or some people don't. And I don't actively search for cards with dots or cards without dots on the back. But if I come across one and I realize I don't have the other version, I'll keep it. Um, you know, just that's part of the hoarding nature of being a collector. Uh, this is a 2003 anniversary reprint. 
And then we got the 86 Donruss highlights, two of those. It's card four and card 36. And then we got the 87 opening day Mike Schmitz. We got the 2003 Donruss Team Heroes. And then a 81 Fleer Mike Schmidt. I think there's multiple variations of this card. Um, but this is the one I got. I couldn't name you the other variations off the top of my head. All right, continuing on with Fleer, we got 86 Fleer, Mike Schmidt, and then 87 Fleer Award winners, and then the here is a 2002 uh, Fleer Fall Classics uh, Series of Champions insert, and then here we got a Fleer Star Stickers from 88, and then Kmart's 82, there's two Kmart 82s, and then on the score we got 88 score, uh, this is a 95 SP championship die cut. You can see it's die cut at the top. And then Ted Williams collection, Mike Schmidt. This is a whole insert set uh, that was in 94. Ted Williams collection, I believe I have every card. Um, but don't quote me on that. I think I have eight of them. Actually, let me put this back in the binder so I don't confuse myself. So more of those Ted Williams, uh, Mike Schmidt cards here. As you can see, this one's trying to come out the binder here. Uh, I have eight of them. They're all numbered on the back as MS. So this is MS8. I don't know how many cards there are, but I think I got most of it, if not all of it. I'm not sure if there's nine cards, ten cards, but uh, like I said, I'm not really a completionist in any sense. I kind of just uh, collect everything I can. Uh, this is a 1977 Topps Home Run Leaders. A little dinged up. Well, this one's got Greg Nettles in it. And then we got the 1980 tops, Mike Schmidt down there, great card. And then the 1981 tops with the hat, love that, love that design. 83 tops, and then another 83 tops here with the All Star. And then on up to 87 tops and 87 tops All Star, 88 tops, and then down here is a 90 tops. Turn back the clock. Uh, this is a 2006 Rookie of the Week. And then here is a 2010 legendary lineage with him and Longo from Tops. All right, next up we got um, this is from 2010 as well. Million card giveaway, Mike Schmidt on it. Uh, and then Chasing History from 2012. This is the uh, gold hollow foil, or excuse me, 2013, not 2012. 2013. And then we got uh, Cut to the Chase die cut. I think these were blaster inserts, if I'm not mistaken, or it could have been a regular insert, but a die cut, cut to the chase. And then here we got a 89 Ames 2020 Club, love oddball sets like this. And then we got a 2013 Tops Archives, it's a tall boy uh, insert card. And then this is a 2003 Gallery Hall of Fame, Mike Schmidt. And then on down, we got, uh, I think this is a Glossy Sendin. Yeah, 1984 Glossy Sendin, Mike Schmidt, followed by 2011 Tops Lineage, and then an 86 Mini Leaders from Tops. And then the last page of Mike Schmidt, we got a 2015 Museum Collection, and then a 88 Tops Rite Aid, followed by 2000 Upper Deck Legends. Uh, special edition. Oh, no, wait, this is 95 Upper Deck Special Edition. Excuse me. Um, my eyes are mixing up my spreadsheet over here. Uh, Mike Schmidt, this is a 2000 Upper Deck Legends, and then a 2013 USA Baseball Champions from Panini. All in all, I got close to 50 Mike Schmidt cards. All right, this next player, I don't have as many cards. Uh, he was born in 1951, made his debut in 1972, same year as Mike Schmidt's. Uh, was inducted in the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2008. Uh, he was originally born in... I said originally born. You're only born in one place. <laughs> uh, born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And that is... The Goose. That's right. Rich Gossage. The Goose. So starting off, we got a 1981. Very rough cut. 81 Don Russ. Very blurry picture on this. And then we got a 89 Donruss, 90 Donruss, and then a 2017 Donruss Retro, uh, 93 Flare Goose Gossage, and then we got a 87, I think that is, League Leaders, yeah, it says 87 up there, 
And then we got Fleur Limited uh, from 85. And then we got, uh, what is that, 90 score? Is that 90 score? Or is that something else? It's 88 score. Look at me getting my scores mixed up. Uh, 82 tops down here at the bottom. Then we got the 83 tops. He's on the Yankees. And then the super veteran from 83. Shows him as a young man with the White Sox. And then with the Yankees, 84 tops. He's still with the Yankees. And then this is a uh, Topps Tiffany, 85. Actually, I got this from uh, Mr. Jeff Airtime, one of those trivia wins. I got this Tiffany Goose Gossage. Uh, 2018 archives. Um, 2019 archives. Like <laughs> These pictures are like wholesome Goose Gossage. <laughs> and then closing it out with uh, 93 Ultra. Goose Gossage. Alright, next up we got a player that was known for being a beast in multiple sports uh, in college and in high school. Uh, he was born in 1951, made his debut in 1973, was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame 2001. He's from St. Paul, Minnesota. I know many of you had guessed it already when I said a beast in multiple sports in college, and that is Dave Winfield. Um, many said he could have gone pro in football and a basketball, uh, but chose to pursue a baseball career and was a Hall of Famer in baseball. So, don't know how good he was at basketball or football, but apparently he was pretty good. So, we're starting off with a 93 Bowman, Dave Winfield, and then a 1980 Burger King, and then 82 Donruss, Diamond Kings, 85, um, with Don Mattingly. There's another version of this. Uh, this one says yellow letters. So I, got, I think there's a version with white lettering here. Uh, we got 89 Donruss uh, MVP, bonus MVP. And then a regular 89 Donruss, followed by a 90 Donruss, 91 Donruss, and then a 2003 Donruss anniversary reprint. Continuing on with Donruss, we got a 2017 Donruss Day One Field. And a 2020 Donruss. Then back to Fleer. We got 88 Fleer. We got 90 Fleer. Uh, this is 93 Fleer Golden Moments inserts. And then this is an 87 Fleer Mini. Uh, this is Leaf from 90. Followed by a 92 Leaf Black Gold. And then a 93 Leaf. Right there. Dave Winfield like uh, Goose Gossage and Burt Blylevin played for a lot of different teams. All right, next up we got a uh, another '93 Leaf Dave Winfield. Oops, gotta turn the wrong way. Uh, celebrating his 3,000 hits, pretty cool design there. I like that one. Uh, then we got a 2015 Panini Contenders. Shows him in his uh, Minnesota Golden Gophers uniform. Uh, 92 Pinnacle, 93 Pinnacle, and then 93 Pinnacle uh, Hometown Heroes. Uh, this is. Pinnacle Home Run Club from 93. With that cool little Dufex printing on it. And then we got 90 score. This is 94 score. And then another 94 score. Celebrating 3,000 hits. Alright. Here we got a 95 score. This is a uh, 93 select. Uh, 93 SP. I was like, I was like, for a second, there's something wrong with that bat, and I realized it's one of those weights uh, that they swing. Uh, this is a '93 Stadium Club, and then another '93 Stadium Club here, and then '94 Stadium Club. I think that's the Golden Rainbow, isn't it? Uh, no, that's just a regular. Or is that the Dugout Dirt? Yeah, it's the Dugout Dirt. You can tell from the back here. So. 94 Stadium Club Dugout Dirt, and then the regular 94 Stadium Club here. And then back to 1980 Tops with Mr. Don Baylor. And then we got 83 Tops. Day one filled with the Yankees. Next up, we got a couple 88 Tops. Uh, the All-Star and the regular, and then 89 Tops here. Followed by the 89 Tops All-Star, 90 Tops. Um, 93 tops gold, followed by the regular 93 tops, and then uh, 95 tops, and then the 89 uh, Ames Club 2020, also done by tops. All right, last page of Dave Winfield. We got 
2020 archives. And then we got a 84 glossy sendins and then the 89 glossy sendins there. I don't know how much this design changed over the 80s. I'm guessing all the glossy sendins had the same plain border design. You see this 89's uh, pretty beat up. I think I pulled this. It's even got a big old crease down it. I think I got this out of a uh, Fairfield. I'm not sure. Might have got it off a uh, repacked wax, but not in the best condition. We got a 86 tops mini liters, and then a 91 ultra, and then 93 ultra, and then closing it out with a 93 upper deck community heroes day one field. All right, this next player was born 1953, made their debut in 1973. At the young age of 20, uh, was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1999 uh, from Glendale, West Virginia. That is Mr. George Bretz. So starting off with a 93 Bowman here, 80 Burger King, uh, 82 Donruss, 87 Donruss, and then 89 bonus MVP, followed by the regular 89. Um... 90 Donruss, 91 Donruss, and the 91 Donruss MVP card. Okay, we got the 92 Donruss. Looks like he definitely uh, swung a little late on that ball. <laughs> um, 94 Donruss, or career salutes. Uh, the 2003 Donruss anniversary reprints. Uh, 2016 retro. Uh, 2016 regular base. Uh, this is the 2018 black and white variation, uh, 2020. I believe that's the regular. And then the 2021 Donruss George Bretts. And closing out this page, we got a 2008 Donruss Threads. All right, starting off this page, we got an 81 Fleer, followed by the 82 Fleer, followed by 89 Fleer, 90 Fleer. 90 Fleer uh, Player of the Decade. And then 91 Fleer, the Bright Yellow Borders. 94 Fleer. 86 Fleer Limited Edition. And then closing it out with a 2002 Greats of the Game. George Brett. Quite OC on that one. <laughs> Definitely, even in 2003, sometimes they couldn't get the centering right. All right, this page starts off with an 82 Kmart, and then a 91 Leaf, a uh, 92 Leaf. Uh, this is a 2015 Prism Di Diamond Marshals, really like these cards, followed by a 2015 Prism Fireworks, and then 92 Pinnacle, 93 Pinnacle, and then a 93 Pinnacle uh, Now and Then. And then closing it out with a 90 score, George Brett. All right, here we got a 95 SP, and then followed by a 92 uh, Stadium Club Members Choice, and then the 94 Stadium Club, and the 2019 Stadium Club. Uh, this is the Charter Member 91 Stadium Club. You may ask why these are split. Well, because these 94 um even this one so the members choice the 94 here and the 2019 those are all stadium club base sets this charter member thing wasn't part of the base set it was uh, a set on its own so that's why it's separate from the other ones then we got the 1980 george brett right here um 83 all-star followed by the regular 83 and then we got the 85 George Brett All-Star card. Here we got the 87 Tops Team Leaders with George Brett and uh, I don't know who that is. It says white on the back. Um, I probably should know, but like I said, I didn't follow much baseball in the 80s, so but I'm not exactly sure who that player is. I'm sure it's my name and right off the bat. Uh, there's the regular 87 Tops, 89 Tops. And then all the way up to 2016, this is a Burger's Best insert, and then another Burger's Best insert here. Um, this is a 75 design, this one's the 90 design. 
2017 Tops All-Time All-Stars. And then a 2017 Rediscovered Tops. And then this is a 2017 Top Salutes. Followed by 2019 Faces of the Franchise with Salvi and Bo Jackson. Alright, moving on. We got a 2020 Decades Best Chrome. And this is a 2019 Allen & Ginter. 84 Glossy Sinbin. 86 Mini Leader. Uh, 89 Mini Leader. 88 uh, UK Minis. And then 2016 Update 3000 Hits Club. 92 Triple Play. 2012 Triple Play. Close that one out. And then a couple more cards here. We got a Upper Deck 1990. Followed by 2000 Upper Deck Legends. George Brett. Okay, this next player was born in 1954. Made their debut in 1974. Was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2003 from Culver City, California. Steve, I know you already guessed this one. That is Mr. Gary Carter. Shout out to Steve Carter's kids. We're starting off with a 1981 Donruss. And then the 89 Donruss. 91 Donruss. And then down here we got the 82 Fleer with uh, Dave Parker. And then... 87 Fleer, 89 Fleer, 90 Fleer, 87 Fleer Mini, and then the 90 score rookie traded uh, where he's in a Giants Uni. This one starts off with a 92 Stadium Club, and then a 78 Tops Gary Carter, a 83 Tops All Star, 84 Tops All Star, 85 Tops. A 1987 Tops Glossy All-Star Inserts. 89, 89, 89. So three 1989 Tops Gary Carters down there at the bottom. All right, here we got a 1993 Tops with Fred McGriff Cameo. A 2010 Tops Legendary Lineage Insert with David Wright. Um... This is from 2012, uh, 87 Design Mini, um, 2013 Archives, 84 Glossy Sinden, uh 2013 Gypsy Queen Collisions at the Plate inserts. Uh, I recognize that player sliding into the plate, but I can't name him off the top of my head. Later line of the 80s, it's not a... Dang, who's that guy's name? I can't think of his name. You know his name, put it in the comments. Um... We got Gary Carter Turkey Red from 2020, 93 Upper Deck. Gary Carter. And then um, a 2000 Upper Deck Legends Gary Carter to close it out. All these pictures of Gary Carter getting beat up at the plate. It's amazing he played as long as he did. It's really a catcher. I mean, it's almost Hall of Fame worthy just to last that many years in the league playing that position. It's ridiculous. All right, next up we got a player that was born in 1953, made their debut in 1974, was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009 from the little town of Anderson, South Carolina. Been through Anderson, not much there. This was a controversial uh, Hall of Famer. A lot of people believe that uh, this guy really didn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, but, you know, players, once they're in the Hall of Fame for a while, people don't even think about that. Uh, you think a lot about, you know, like somebody like Harold Baines, um... That people don't agree with being in the Hall of Fame. This this was probably the Harold Baines before Harold Baines when it comes to uh, controversy of getting in. And that is Mr. Jim Rice. Jim Rice. Starting off with a 1980 Burger King. 86 Donruss. 2020 Donruss. 2020 Donruss Optic. Uh, retro. And then this is the, uh, the Hollow. I wish that we, we could just call them all prisms or call them all refractors. But no, all these companies have to have their own names for refracted light. So this is a hollow. <laughs> and then we got a uh, 2005 Donruss Team Heroes, 82 Kmarts, and then the 1980 Tops, 83 Tops, 283 Tops. This one has a 
Bob Stanley on it. These are Red Sox team leaders. All right, we got a couple 87 tops here, the regular and the all-star version. 88 tops, and then 89, 90 tops, and then all the way to 2012 tops golden moments inserts. Uh, 2013, the 72 design minis. Uh, this is 2015 tops insert, inspired play with Yona Cespedes and Jim Rice. And then a 1984 glossy Sinden Jim Rice. And closing it out with Upper Deck, we got a 1990 Upper Deck Jim Rice. Alright, next up we got a player born 1955 in Danville, Illinois. Made his Major League debut in 1974, was inducted in 1999 to the Hall of Fame, and that is Mr. Yountu, Robin Yunt. Robin Yunt. We got a 1987 Boardwalk and Baseball here, 92 Bowman, uh, 87 Classic Game. I like that card for some reason, just the it's a great photo, goes well with the border on that card. Uh, 82 Donruss. 87 Donruss, 89 Donruss, Diamond King, and then um, 89 Donruss Regular, 91 Donruss, and then closing it out with a 94 Donruss Special Edition with the shiny foil down there. Then we got the 2003 reprints, the 83 Robin Yunts, 2020 Donruss here. 91 Fleer, uh, 91 Leaf, 91 Opeachy, and then 2013 Panini Cooperstown, 93 Pinnacle, Now and Then, looks the same, just more hair. <laughs> and then we got a 88 score, and then the 1990 score, Robin Yunt. Sort of like a succession pitcher almost, the swing and the follow through. All right, this page starts off with 92 score, and then 94 score, Gold Rush Parallel, uh, 93 SP, uh, 92 Stadium Club, 94 Stadium Club Golden Rainbow, right next to the base, 94 Stadium Club, uh, 2016 Stadium Club Gold Foil, uh, 2019 Stadium Club, and then 1980 Tops, Robin Yates. All right, this one starts off with another 83 with uh, Mr. Pete Lukovic. Many of you know as Haywood on Major League. Uh, the regular 83 and then the All-Star 83. 87 tops, 88 tops, 89 tops, 90 tops, 90 tops, All-Star, and then the 91 tops. All right, continuing on with tops, we got the 92. The 93, the 94 gold, the regular 94, and then all the way up to 2014, we got Topps Die Cut Mini inserts, 2014 Breakout Moments, uh, 2015 Highlight of the Year, or just 3,000 hit, uh, Hollowed Highlights 2016 Tops, and then a uh, 2014 Allen and Ginter. All right, last page for Mr. Robin Yunt. We got a 89 Tops Ames 2020, uh, 84 Glossy Sinden, 2016 Update 3000 Hits Club, 92 Triple Play. This is Upper Deck Legends from 2000. And then we got uh, 90 Upper Deck, 91 Upper Deck, and then 2000 Upper Deck Hitters Club, and then a 2002 Upper Deck piece of history down here at the bottom and that closes out mr robin yelp okay this next hall of famer was born in 1954 in oakland california made his debut in 1975 was inducted in the hall of fame in 2004 we all know him as dennis eckersley but he's more properly known as the eck with that stash which was his mo Dominant closer, pretty good starter. I think him and John Smoltz are the only players with 150 wins and 150 saves. I think that's the stat. Um, him and John Smoltz are the only two to ever do that. So, 
starting out with Mr. Eckersley, we got a uh, 1997 Collector's Choice here. And then 82 Donruss, 89 Donruss, 90 Donruss, 91 Donruss, 2003 Team Heroes, 89 Fleer, 90 Fleer, and then uh, 92 Fleer right here. All right, this is a 98 Fleer Tradition, and then a 87 Fleer Update, 95 Fleer Update, 92 Leaf here, love this picture on this card, great shot. I love uh, photos where you get to see the batter and the pitcher and the ball coming towards the batter, makes for a great photo. Uh, this is a um, 93 Leaf Gold All-Stars, you can see the numbers here because this is the actual back of the card. Uh, the front of the card has Rob Dibble on it. That's the actual front, I believe. I don't know. This one's got the uh, copyright information on it. So this may be considered the front. I don't know. But it's Rob Dibble and Dennis Eckerson on that one. 93 Leaf. Um, this is a Leaf Metal from 96. And then we got uh, 92 Pinnacle and 90 Score. Alright, this one starts at 91 score, 93 SP, and then we got a sports flicks here, action stash, portrait stash, action stash, portrait stash, <laughs> 95 sports flicks that is, um, 92 stadium club, uh, 93 stadium club members choice, and then 2015 gold foil stadium club, and then 2016 gold foil. Stadium Club, followed by the 2019 Stadium Club. Great photography there. And then 93 Studio. Going off his grip and the stash and the flow all together in one picture. All right, starting to get into tops here. We got a 78 uh, tops, Dennis Eckersley, then the 83, 87, 88, and then up to 93. And then all the way up to 2020, this is the Topps Archives. Uh, this is a Topps Chrome Hallbound Refractor from 98 Topps Chrome. Great shiny card there. Uh, 92 Triple Play here. Sorry, it's kind of coming out of the binder a little bit. And then a 91 Ultra. And then here we got an insert set from 1993 Ultra, uh, which was all about Dennis Eckersley, so... I got all these cards besides, I think, 10. Card number 10 is the one I don't have. So you can see all the different teams that Eckersley's pitched for. I remember him with the A's mainly. But he pitched Red Sox and Indians, Cubs. All right, last page, Dennis Eckersley. We got a 98 Ultra. Or actually, no, that's the last uh, Eckersley insert card. That's the 98 Ultra with the Cardinals. Uh, 93 Upper Deck Award winners, and then the other 93 Upper Deck Award winners. So he won uh, MVP and Cy Young as a reliever. <laughs> you probably won't see that happening anytime soon again. Um, we got 94 Upper Deck, and then closing it out with a 1998 Upper Deck Eckersley. All right, a couple more Hall of Famers in this binder. Uh, this next Hall of Famer is, uh, was born in 1954 in Miami, Florida. Woo-woo! Uh, shares a hometown with me. I was born in Miami, Florida as well. Uh, made his Major League debut in 1976. Was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2010. Known as the Hawk. That is, of course, Andre Dawson. Career Cub. No, he wasn't a career club. Cub. He played for other teams at the end of his career, didn't he? Yeah, because he played for... Uh, Expos. In fact, I see other uniforms on here. So, all right, we got a '93 uh, Bowman, and then we got a '89 Donruss, '89 Donruss, '91 Donruss, and there you go. And the Expos Uni from a 2003 anniversary reprint, and then we got Flare, 1993 Flare, um, '93 Flare, 2013 Hometown Heroes. And then 1991 Leaf there. 
Okay, this page starts off with 1993 Leaf, and then 95 Leaf, good news with the Marlins, uh, 96 Leaf Limited, 92 Pinnacle, uh, 93 Pinnacle Home Run Club, um, 2005 Playoff Prestige, and then we got 88 Score, 90 Score, and 91 Score. Question is, when is Panini going to do a score retro set in baseball? <laughs> Alright, moving on, we got 94 Stadium Club, Golden Rainbow, uh, 92 Studio, 83 Tops All-Star, regular 83 Tops, and then we got 86 Tops, 87 Tops, um, 88 Tops Glossy All-Stars, um, 89 Tops, and then 91 Tops. Alright, starting this page with a 90... Three tops gold, and then a 2012 golden moments inserts, uh, 2017 all time all stars inserts, 2020 decades best, uh, 2020 Allen and Ginter, 89 Ames 2020 club, 2020 archives down here. Sorry about the glare, uh, 84 serial from tops, and then 84 glossy send in. Also from Tops. Here we got a 2011 Tops Lineage, and then 92 McDonald's Baseball's Best, uh, 88 Rite Aid Team MVPs, 91 Ultra, uh, 92 Ultra, and then 90 Upper Deck, 91 Upper Deck, 92 Upper Deck, and then 93 Upper Deck checklist card with a hawk of course and then closing it out we have a 91 upper deck final edition all-star game card okay the last hall of famer i got in this binder this won't be kind of quick because i don't have that many of his cards um was born in 1953 in lancaster pennsylvania uh made his debut in 1976 so the same year as the hawk uh and was inducted into the hall of fame in 2006 and that is reliever extraordinaire Bruce Suter. Bruce Suter. We got a 1980 Burger King. And then the 82 Donruss. 86 Donruss. 84 Fleer. 87 Fleer. And then 78 Tops. 80 Tops. 83 Tops. Another 83 Tops. Super veteran. You can see. Got a little peach fuzz around the, the lips. And then... How it started and how, how it ended. <laughs> All right, this last page got a couple, a couple more 83s. Got the All Star. Uh, got 82 leading firemen with Dan Quisenberry. And then we got the 87 Bruce Suter when he was on the Braves. 88, 89, and then closing it out with a 2016 Tops 100 Years at Wrigley Field inserts. Uh, Bruce Suter. So, folks, that was. Hall of Fame binder number four. Let me know what you all think in the comments about this binder. Um, I will be doing an another one next month. Uh, once again, apologize for the whole uh, mini hiatus thing where I'm not doing the cardboard happy hours um, and not uploading a whole lot um, just because I'm focusing on classes right now. But yeah, let me know what you think about Hall of Fame binder number four. Uh, next up, I think next month I'll do another binder, but I think I'm going to do my football binders. So I may combine uh, like my Hurricanes collection and um, Dolphins collection. Uh, and I think I got a couple binders of those. I might have three binders of those. Two or three binders. Uh, I may just do all those next month. You know, just kind of have a football binder month instead of doing just one binder next month. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, remember, I kind of thrive on y'all's uh, interactivity with the video. So uh you know, you don't have to like it. You don't have to thumbs it down. Or, you know, if you like it, thumbs it up. If you don't like it, thumbs it down. If you're just meh, put it in the comments below. Just put meh. <laughs> you know, because that's what YouTube feeds on. You know, a lot of people think of subs and views and, and stuff like that. But it's it's really the engagement. That's what YouTube's looking for is engagement. I know Bradley Moore is doing a whole series of videos where he's shouting out channels and stuff like that. Okay, I was getting into a ramble there and... Streamlabs was like, no, no rambling. 
you're done. <laughs> it just like killed the video. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, you know, YouTube runs off of engagement. It doesn't run off of views. It doesn't run off of clicks. It doesn't run off of subscribers. It runs off of engagement. So the more people that engage with the video, the more likely your videos are going to be recommended to the general population and all. And among our community of baseball card collectors, sports card collectors, what have you. Um, but yeah, let me just quit rambling here. Appreciate y'all watching. I'm still around. I'm not going. Uh, just a little hiatus. Like I said, I don't know how long it's going to take. I've been super busy. It's like been the first week of, uh, of classes for me. And, you know, just, just trying to keep up with classes and getting all that work done really puts a damper on trying to do baseball card stuff and sports card stuff. Uh, still going to be doing my BBGB breaks, so check out cardobbies.com if you want to get one of those. Um, you know, when those fill out, I'll, I'll, I'll still be doing those on like Sunday nights because those don't really take a whole lot of energy or a whole lot of planning or anything like that. Um, but yeah, appreciate all y'all watching. Appreciate y'all hanging out while I rambled here at the end of the video. Remember, get only control two things at your thoughts and your actions. Stay positive. Keep ripping them packs. Keep filling up the binders, boxes, what have you. However you collect, basing them on your wall, whatever you're doing. Uh, and I will catch you all later. Peace.